The current head of the Archdiocese of New York was not in Lower Manhattan on September 11th, 2001. That's because at the time, Cardinal Timothy Dolan was serving in the Archdiocese of St. Louis. He says on that day, while the attack was centered in the U.S., it was a strike on the whole world. Cardinal Timothy Dolan, Archbishop of New York, joins us now. Your Eminence, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, it is your 13th 9-11 anniversary uh, as Archbishop of New York. Can you talk to us about leading the Archdiocese in the years since? Yeah. Obviously, you know here in the Archdiocese of New York, it won't surprise any of you to know, that 9-11 is almost a holy day of obligation, a term that we Catholics would understand. And it's a day of just, it's the, the atmosphere is very tangible in the entire city, the entire wider community of reverence and memory and of those who died, of gratitude for the first responders, of solidarity with the families who are still rightfully mourning and can never, ever forget. Um, the, the number of, mem of commemorations is always astounding, Tracy, and this year it's a, a bit more because of the 20th. Uh, but every year we would have a memorial mass in the cathedral. Every year I'd be invited to, to uh, prayer services at firehouses or police stations or hospitals. Every year there'd be uh, a re uh, remembrances at memorials. And this is a very good thing. This is a very good thing. We Christians, we Catholics, are people of memory. Uh, one of the last words that Jesus gave us before the cross was, do this in memory of me. Memory is so important to us. We never, ever want to succumb to an emotional or a spiritual amnesia. And, and we keep that memory alive here in New York, and I am glad that we do, um, because it's a source of solace to the families. It inspires noble sentiments in all of us, and in some ways, it 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 kind of makes us vow all the more vigorously that we can't we have to work for the kind of world where these things don't happen anymore. Yeah, and you talked about uh, memorial services. I understand you're leading a memorial service tomorrow uh, for the 343 firefighters who were killed in the terror attacks. Um, yeah. Can you tell us more about that and, and maybe what your message will be to the families 20 years later? Sure. You know, um, well, the, the New York Fire Department, they, they invited me in the morning. Usually on the morning, our local firehouse will invite me down uh, for a prayer service and to remember the men from that station, the men and women who lost their lives on that day. And they usually, firehouses are known for their good breakfast, so we have a nice breakfast as well because it's a long day. So I'll do that tomorrow. And then you're right, we do have a mass that the uh, FDNY, Fire Department of New York, asked us to have. And it'll have a particular poignancy uh, this year. And I just, you know, usually I'm, I'm going to mention a gratitude, gratitude um, to God for being the kind of God who can bring life from death, who can bring good from evil, and who can bring love from hatred. That's the kind of God we, we got. And that's what happened in New York, see? And that's what happened with the firefighters. That's what happened with the police and rescue. That's what happened with healthcare people. That's what happened with the families, that their, their sense of loss was in a beautiful way it wasn't eliminated, that's for sure. Never should be, never can be. But in some ways it was soothed by the by the brave example of these people. And in some way it was assuaged a bit through the solidarity that, that they felt ar around them. Community, church, if you will, was at its best in those days. And I'm going to just suggest tomorrow that we not lose sight of that. And we remembered uh, initially the fear, the anger, the bitter sadness, the feeling, I, I'm never going to be able to survive this. And yet he got us through. Those are the kind of, those are the kind of sentiments of faith that we have to nurture. Yeah, such an important message. And thank you so much for your time today, Your Eminence. And Thanks speaking for with asking. Us okay. means a lot. Thank you so much, Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York. Thank Bye. you again.